We start the day at the Houston Auto Show at the Chrysler Press Conference, where we're introduced to the new Pacific, uh, replaces the town and country minivan. Really premium pulls for yes. stow and go. Lounging in the third row, the Pacifica has grown into an eight passenger minivan, along with its name change. Is impossible. In 2017, a rear wheel drive 505 horsepower with an honest stick shift. It's the Alfa Romeo Giulia. This Quattrofoglio trim level is 505 horsepower and rear wheel drive. There will be a four cylinder version that will go all wheel drive. That information comes later this year. Front wheel drive was supposed to be just the Q30. Dealers complained. Now all crossovers are QX30. This particular example is all wheel drive. I think minivans are cool. It's a big space, big form factor to put your best effort into. I think he has done a really good job with the new Sedona. If you're going to build a vehicle this big, you better fill it with your best work. And the Sedona's interior certainly doesn't disappoint. I feel like it's very premium in a, in a very competitive space. The Sedona still stands out. You won't see some of the trick storage solutions in the Chrysler Pacifica here, though. At a glance, the most interesting vehicles at the ride and drive here are the new Prius, the Cummins powered Titan XD. If you've never driven an electric car, you can drive a Nissan Leaf. Lots to drive and see here at the Houston Auto Show runs until January 31. The Jaguar F-Type coupe or convertible gets extra points for being available with a real manual transmission. This F-Type R is Unfortunately, a flappy paddle gearbox, but that's okay because you can get a stick and that's what matters. Jaguar is a brand that has undergone tremendous transformation and it's good to see that they're getting back to their sporting roots with the 2017 XE. There's stiff competition in the segment from the BMW M's cars, the Mercedes-Benz AMG, and the Alfa Romeo Giulia. But Jaguar does have its own brand identity, and the XE is a strong contender. See how it does out on the road. Over and over, I'm hearing from people at the Houston Auto Show, they're most impressed with the Volvo XC90. It is Volvo's newest and largest effort. This is Volvo's brand anthem. They want to say they're still here and still bringing Swedish design inside and out. On a six hour, 220 volt quick charge, the XC90 plug-in hybrid can go a total of 17 all-electric miles before the gasoline engines kick.